We're going to the dentist today. We're going to get a little scrub and clean. And then we're going to be taking you guys for a little journey. We're going for a podcast with Vincey. Vince was the first guy that reached out to me and helped me out when I moved to Australia. So we're going to be chatting some garbage with him. And then our first lockdown session in the garage. Let's see what's going down. What's the plan with those? Man, they're gonna go on sale next week on Big Fry Supplies. But we need to shoot some sick content with them first. We should put it on your story and see what outrageous suggestions you get. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> I have a clue what Vince is going to ask me today. Could be anything. Vince owns a creative agency called Astute, and they're very good at making brands look sexy. Yo. Hello. Let's go. Have you been on many podcasts before? I've been on loads of podcasts, and I actually avoid going on podcasts now because I hate it when people ask me the same questions that I've already spoken about before. How did you get into weightlifting? What was the Olympics like? So I'm hoping Vince is gonna ask me some stuff that's gonna be outside of weightlifting. Something business related or, I don't know, we'll just see or life related. I much prefer talking about those conversations instead of it just being like pre-programmed. Let's go. Oh, hello dog. Dog. Sit, drop, bang. Did <laughs> <laughs> the Cristiano Ronaldo? No. Your virgin guests ready to go? What's ready. What are the questions you got on the line? Oh, don't stress me out. We need a pre questionnaire now. We know what's off limits at least. <laughs> Step one. Three, two, one. Sunny Webster. Welcome to the issue. Never getting the opportunity to express your personality through what you wear. As a weightlifter, when I first started, there was op op option of two different weightlifting shoes. We're in lockdown and there's still so many cars out and about. What do you reckon they're all doing? <laughs> Mate, it's definitely not like there's an actual lockdown. I think people are still getting out, going for a walk. Numbers growing by the minute into the thousands. Trying to get on with their lives as normal. I think one of the thing that's so shit for people is because there's no government support on you know their small businesses they've got to still try and run and, and do bits and bobs even though they're not getting any financial support so people have got to still do that thing go crazy how many weeks of the lockdown are we in oh, what well, we must be like nearly week four now um but it's like it's like me you know like i'm still trying to do as best i can to do some stuff create some content still get training um, as best I can, but I think we're going to be be here for at least another three or four weeks, unless we just go to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely uh, something I've been thinking about the last few days. I've got obviously an English passport and New Zealand passport, so I could get go over to Europe, go to IFS, see the boys, see Jeff. Yeah. Do some seminars out in in Europe would be would be sick, uh, but I think the thing for me for that is because we haven't been away or been travelling for ages, and it's something that I'd normally do all the time. I'm almost like a bit scared to leave and go into the unknown again. Um, but at the same time, I'm like that's the most exciting thing. So it's taken a couple of days for me to start kind of get my head around it about being on the road again. But what a journey it would be. And, how much exciting stuff we could do. Yeah. Do you reckon that's one of your most requested messages, what your nutrition is? <laughs> yeah, it's so random though. I don't eat the same thing every single day, but I use meal prep meals. It's from my body fuel 
chicken rice, pasta rice, lasagna, curry chicken. We just need some carbs to go with this. Or we can just bang it in a wrap. <laughs> Such a bro meal. Meat in a wrap. Done. Fun fact about Linda and Sunny is they don't drink any water. Always sparkling soda stream. This is a game changer to everyone's kitchen. These two appliances, in fact. My blender and my soda water sparkler are must. I think I did it out, bro. Dunna! Michelin star, baby. And that's it. Pre workout snack complete. Everyone always asks about this coffee machine as well. This is equally important in every household. Coffee will cost you about three pounds, five dollars in England. Me and Linda will drink two of those every single day. A lot of money in coffee, but this bad boy just solves the problem. Another fun fact for you, this is the same coffee machine Kendall Jenner has. It is, it is indeed, yes. This is giving me deja vu, brother. Bringing back the memories of going down to my old apartment block. Socks and flip flops on. Didn't even have the bollocks to put on a pair of lifters. Just grinded it out. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be setting up here. <laughs> That's about <laughs> it. <laughs> right, step one, we need to move the car. We're gonna do overhead squats to start today, so we're gonna to need to get the rack set up. Only got 140 kilos worth of weights and not really many increments, so basically the smallest jump that we can make is probably like 10 kilos. We're gonna overhead squat, or snatch bounce overhead squat, we'll do it as a combination up to, most I've snatched recently is 135 last week, so try and go to about 140 on the overhead squat, which will be pretty good, it's nowhere near um, my best, which is that 190 on that exercise, but again, just taking it steady with the shoulder, building up bit by bit. And then we're gonna snatch. Last snatch session was 135. So today I'm actually gonna bring the percentage down a little bit and go for triples at 120. Build the base before I start progressing up past 135 again. This is the first ever product that we made for Big Fry Supplies. There's our block chalk. What does it say on the front? Creatine. Creatine for your hands. I'm gonna get all over this little private gym is first. <laughs> yeah, there's no coach that's gonna tell me off for breaking the chalk up on here. To be fair, there probably is one. Oh yeah, the big, <laughs> the big, the big boss. <laughs> Don't tell the big boss. You can see where it's racked on my shoulders in this position. I'm not using my arms at all. It's resting right up on top of my traps there and the elbows are directly underneath the bar. Now, what's important on the dip here is that I don't rush this bit because I've only got to change direction anyway. So I'm going down nice and slowly and then putting the effort into the drive, into the overhead position. Well, the uh, perks of lockdown is you've got to do a very manly jump. The next increment that we can physically go is to on boy. The key is to forget about the weight and try and feel it in the legs, especially when it gets heavy. Uh, you don't want your arms kicking in or taking over the upper body. The minute that happens, What happened there? The soft in the bottom, bro. I'm gonna stay tight, stay active the whole way through the lift. Ooh. I shook my soul. <laughs> it still wasn't comfortable, but it's getting there. It's in the right spot, at least. Ages, just because I haven't needed to, but I feel like because I'm lifting with lighter percentages and weights than I have done before, I might as well recondition my hands just in case I ever have to do a competition again. Do you always use straps when you're doing pulls, bro? Yeah, there's 
the idea behind it is so that my grip strength isn't the limiting factor. I'm using them to really keep my arms relaxed because the last thing I want to do when I'm pulling is pull the weight in the upper body because I won't get the most out of my leg kick. So yeah, I, I will always use them when I'm doing pulls. These pulls from hanger just to work the top part of the lift, the extension in the finishing phase. Get your traps good. These are the new big fire supply straps. Ooh. Pretty sexy. What's great about these straps is we've stitched them here at the bottom, which means when you go to put them on, they're already linked, which makes it 10 times easier. Can't mention any sponsors. Can't mention any uh, notable. Collabs. Collaborations. <laughs> Just me. Crispy boy in the garage banging out a snatch session, but you guys have seen a little bit about what lockdown life's like for us at the moment. But I'm going to try and show you what I'm going to do while motivations are probably low for a lot of people in lockdown, just getting the basic bits done and try and give you guys those little tips and tricks as we go. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on this video. These are going to be happening consistently. And remember, if you want to see me, Crispy, and Lindor fly to Europe, bang this in the comments. Three. 3,000 likes. Should we just say views? <laughs> 3,000 likes and we'll come to Europe. Thanks guys, see you soon.